Hello, in this video I'll show you how to uh, install plugins for uh, uh, Amos. So the first step is to uh, look up the uh, plugins here. So you just type in Amos plugins on uh, your Google and hopefully you will come across uh, James Gaskins uh, stat wiki page so uh, James has a very useful uh, uh, YouTube channel he's a very uh, energetic interesting and um, generates a, quite a quality content for uh, statistics in general using SPSS EMOS for structural equation modeling exploratory analysis as well as confirmatory analysis so you go ahead and, uh, in fact, I, I got to know about this plugin through his channel. So go under resources for plugins uh, folder. And then depending on your uh, version, of course, for this year, we uh, got the latest, which is 26. And download the uh, pattern matrix builder AMOS 20, version, to, version 26. So please download the pattern matrix builder. Once you download the Pattern Matrix Builder, let me show you here on my downloads. Uh, downloads. So here is the uh, plugin. I'm going to copy that and then I will start my journey getting into uh, to save it in the proper place. So I'm going to go to the C and then make sure that on view up here, not home, usually your default is at home, go to view and have the hidden items checked. Do you see that? So now that you are uh, uh, on your C, go to users. My main user here is Nora. And then go to app data. And after app data, go to local and then go to Amos development and then Amos and then 26 and then plugins and here you are save it over there so this is the pattern builder plugin i'm gonna opt out of amos right now and start amos again so that we can check if we can have access to the pattern matrix builder so over here let's take a look at uh, plugins here is the, uh, the pattern matrix builder what does the pattern matrix builder do? Basically, when we were doing the uh, exploratory factor analysis, if you remember, we went to analyze, we went to reduce uh, to dimension reduction, factor, and ah, oh, we need to get all the factors all over again. Okay, um, and then we got the factors that we wanted. Just gonna put them all together. Over here. And descriptives. We don't really need that for now, but uh, we need to reproduce also in general. I'm just reproducing what we've done earlier. Rotation is Promax. Uh, this course is okay for now. I'm not going to. you run the uh, exploratory factor analysis in general and we talked about here the pattern mat matrix being a discriminant and convergent very nice so we just copy that you copy your pattern matrix and you go to Amos where is Amos um. <coughs> excuse me Go to plugin, pattern matrix model uh, builder. Uh, oh, okay, sorry, you need to specify the data. So, first of all, read your data. <coughs> Excuse me. My data is somewhere in. And now we go to plugins. To make the expeller, copy that. I'm going to paste that and then create a diagram. 
and look oh it was supposed to be looking nicer and, 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 and prettier than this uh, for some reason I got so unlucky with that okay so in my case it didn't really uh, produce a very a fancy nice uh, <laughs> diagram so on eh? okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to fix that so basically I'm gonna first of all hit on this uh, uh, symmetry button and then try to move um, or maybe without the symmetry button first let's uh, try to move this guy here and um, So basically this, this this plugin didn't work as intended, didn't work as nicely as intended, you know, uh, for, for me, so you need to still fix it somehow, look at that, it's just, it's just not nice really, it is just not nice at all, so yeah. I mean, it even it's better for me to just delete all the errors. In fact, and add them over again nicely. So I'm gonna do that. I don't have that much patience to fix it. So I'm gonna do that. But on the other hand, I'm gonna just be a little bit more patient fixing the the regression lines. So this this can take a little time. Okay, so now that you fixed it, um, let me check if the system, yeah, now it's, it's lovely, done, nicely done. Uh, it requires a little bit of patience, so it's probably still a time saver. Yeah, so now we use the touch pen, and now look at that, awesome, isn't it? Now we can add the error, so we can add the error term, as you can see here. Uh-huh, and we added, wait a minute, what happened? Okay. You can see. First. analysis and uh, structure equation modeling save and um, let's add this error it's not adding the error though okay what's the, what's the problem let's see okay this system is up with my with the, with the system in general so let me just open it up again just to start in this again something is up okay so let's begin again uh -huh, now it's working you know what I did I just had to uh, over a uh, mouse over the item then click a click a click a click a click a click, click, click keep on clicking until you are satisfied with the position of the error so we're going to do that again and again, but it doesn't take that much time uh, compared to the uh, time it takes to build this from scratch. Okay, awesome, almost there. And now you just go to the plugins again and name unobserved variables. So all these variables are named. Hit the move button along with the symmetry 
and move all the errors here closer. Same applies to this set of errors. And same applies to this set of errors. And the last set of errors. Now get rid of the symmetry. And uh, I would like to just fix this. And now, if you want also, just uh, put the symmetry back. Or maybe not. I'm just going to move these guys again here. 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 In my case here, in this video, I wasn't as lucky. Uh, it wasn't that... Uh, uh, successful but it's okay and now I'm gonna just move it so that all the items are visible in the canvas you see at least they're all symmetrical and nice so this is really uh, a nice representation I'm satisfied with the uh, with the presentation of it um, maybe not m much satisfied with Let me just move it a little so that I know when does it end and when does it begin. And move this, these guys a little. And let's, let's make some spacing so that you can visually see where the items begin and end. Okay, so this is what we call it a measurement model. So this is the measurement model. You need to name these variables. So these are affective trust in my case. So I'm going to just right click object property and call it a trust. That's it. And you copy that one from take and label. This will be that engagement. So I'm going to put here ENG. Okay. And over here, this is the a cognitive trust, so I'm going to put it as uh, C trust. Okay. And finally, the order risk. So I'm going to put risk simply risk over here. And here it is. So now this model is ready for you to. Uh, to start your analysis. Let's say that you haven't been successful in figuring out how to use this plugin and you want to create your own diagram from zero. So what do you do? You actually go ahead and draw your latent variable. First of all, I'm sorry, first of all you need to of course read the data file. So you need to read the data file here. Okay. And then you start with this icon to draw a latent variable. So you just hold down the control key and start uh, dragging it to draw the size that, the, 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 of your, your preference. And then inside it, with the mouse inside and, and it's selected, you click. Another click. You add another one with another click. First thing you do is to name the unobserved variables. You can, uh, of course, uh, change the name here to whatever factor uh, name you like uh, for your uh, latent variable and you can add now uh, the data into these indicator function uh, uh, variables or observed variables variables that you actually collected from your data set so you go into this uh, icon the list variables in the data set and then you can populate it from there so you can have here the like that you are a little patient with it the share all the way until it actually uh, turns to red and then you release the mouse this is not happening wait one more time comment and then follow so this is it and then when if you want to add one more variable same way one two three four if you want to rotate it you just go into this button the rotate button and then you can easily rotate it you can also rotate this guy here and then do the same thing with uh, naming the unobserved variables and the naming the latent variable and populating here the observed variables and then you can add these uh, covariance lines uh, lines with this icon and this is it this is how you do the uh, or construct the measurement uh, uh, model in no time 
moving from uh, a, a SPSS uh, to AMS without wasting your time. Thank you so much.